Hi, I'm Bill Watson. I'm a professor of learning design and technology at Purdue University and director of the Purdue Center for Serious Games and Learning in Virtual Environments. Well, it's like I had when I was first starting my career, I had someone ask me, but should learning really be fun? And I was like, yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like in my mind, it was like, why is that a question? You know, are you not going to learn better if you're engaged and motivated? So uh, one early study I did looked at a teacher who was an excellent teacher. We went and observed him, you know, before he used video games in the classroom. He was funny, he made jokes, but students would, would zone out. He was doing all the energy. You look at a video game, game-based learning environment, the students are active, they're actively solving problems, they're asking questions, they're collaborating with each other. He only used a video game one game, one week of the entire school year, but the entire school knew what week that was, even if they weren't in the class. You know, everyone had such powerful memories of being able to do that. That's the sort of thing, you know, if you can have, uh, you know, an engaging instruction that's really letting you just not sit there and be passive, but jump in and do things that sticks with people and they, you know, they want to do that. So. so the big benefit for using a game in a classroom setting that most people are looking for is the engagement factor. They're the most popular medium out there for entertainment, more popular than books, more popular than movies or TV shows. So that's what people are looking for. You're going to be engaged if you're playing a game. Uh, why we want to use it from a teaching and learning perspective is it helps flip the classroom towards more of a learner-centered approach where instead of the teacher being responsible for everything, asking questions, lecturing, the students are engaged with the problem. They are situated within a context. So situated cognition is, is the idea that we're when we're teaching about a problem, when we're teaching about uh, learning, it's situated within a meaningful context. So if you're learning to be a firefighter and how they are going to be putting out fires, you're faced with those sorts of problems, you're learning that sort of language. So the status of video games these days are, I think most parents get it now. You go down to your local Target or Best Buy or whatever and you see educational video games on the shelf, people get it. Um, so it's not an issue of are people going to accept educational video games. We're, we're now starting to see it move beyond. We're seeing it move into uh, virtual reality, augmented reality with the new platforms that are available. So there's a lot of material available. We can be doing really impressive things for it. I think people get it and they accept it. It's about creating environments where we're given the opportunity to have really deep and rich learning uh, that's going towards mastery rather than uh, rushing, rushing and see how much we can cover and then we're just gonna assess with the test. So um, I think as the educational system continues to shift towards a personalized approach, we're gonna see it be easier and easier to implement these sorts of uh, instruction in the classroom. So personalized learning environments are my broader research area beyond educational video games. Video games are one reason why I look at that. When I first came into pursuing my PhD, my focus was solely on games, and I quickly realized that the current educational system, which is time-driven, uh, is not designed well for video games to be implemented in. So if we're looking for a personalized learning environment, we're looking for a system of education that focuses on mastery and mastering competencies. So we're focus on the effectiveness of learning rather than efficiency. The current educational systems are calendar and time driven, so basically we can say we covered this content for X amount of time, we're done, but that actually does not slow things down if people need more time to learn, or if they're more advanced and they can go faster, they can go faster rather than having to wait for everyone else. So uh, video games are a great fit for personalized learning, they're not the only one. Uh, for me, uh, I see New learning management systems or course management systems are what we have largely now, which means they're only driven by the course. If we have a learning management system designed for personalized learning, that would be managing your entire learning process throughout your life uh, beyond just a single course and allowing you to collaborate with others, set your own goals, identify projects that are going to help you learn in a certain way, and certainly video games are going to be fitting with that in an experiential, engaging, problem-oriented sort of uh, instruction.